How to combine multiple workbooks into one worksheet in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine or merge multiple workbooks and you turn into a worksheet. Okay. In a previous tutorial, I have showed something similar where you would be able to combine multiple workbooks into one workbook. Okay, that means each workbook will be converted into a different worksheet and that will be merged inside your master workbook. But in this tutorial, we are going to do it a bit differently. We are going to combine all those workbook and worksheet and merge them into a single worksheet. Okay, and we are going to do it using Power Query. No need to use VVN this time. Let's get started. <laughs> So this is a workbook I have already opened and this will be the master workbook. Let's minimize it. And here in this folder, I have three workbook, each with one worksheet. And here I have another workbook, which is not in this folder. I will show you why I keep this out here. Let's check each workbook. This is the first one. Here we have ID, job title, email address and first name and last name. Remember all this data is fake, it's dummy data, I just used it for educational purpose. So we have here ID and serial number which is from 1 to 100. This is the first workbook, workbook name is 1. If we open the second workbook, similar data, same format, ID, job title, email address, first name and last name, okay? But here we have our ID starting from 101 to 200, okay? Let's go to the third workbook, same format and ID up to 300 here, okay? And this is the last workbook which is not inside this folder, here ID 301 to 400 okay close it and close the folder so all those data should be in this worksheet okay so how you can merge all those data or all those workbook we're going to click on the data tab and here in the new query drop down click here and then from file from folder okay now find that folder so this is the folder from where I want to combine. Just select the folder. Don't go inside that folder. Just select it and click open. Now in that folder we have three workbook and they are listed here. Just click on this drop down and here combine and transform data. Now. Here, if I click on this sheet one, this is the sample file and this is the first file. You can see here in the drop down, you can select all this. The first file is displayed as a sample file and we are selecting sheet one. And here is the data of that workbook. Okay. So click OK. Now we are inside Power Query Editor, but the first column we don't need it, so it's already selected. If it's not selected, click here and select it. And here, remove column. Select this one, remove column. The rest is what I want, okay? So if I scroll down, you can see the serial number is already here, okay? So three file with 100 rows of data and we have 300 rows of data with that serial number okay so this is what we need now if we need to click here close and load it has created a new worksheet and it's presented inside a table okay close this and if i scroll down all those data is merged in one worksheet in here okay so this is how you can combine multiple workbook into one worksheet let's see why i have placed the fourth document or fourth workbook here so our workbooks are combined from here we have another workbook in the same format and if i place that workbook inside that folder and if we open our worksheet click on data and refresh all and here we have included 
data from that workbook also. So now we have data from all four workbook. Okay, minimize it. If I remove this workbook from this folder, we have only three workbook right now. Open the master workbook and refresh it. You can see last hundred row of data has been removed because that workbook is not inside our selected folder. Okay, now if you don't need this option, you can simply click on any cell of your table. Click here table design and here convert to range. Click here. This will permanently remove the query definition from the sheet and convert the table to a normal range. Continue. Click OK. Okay. So this data has been converted to a range. Okay. Now we have data from three workbook. What if we add another workbook in that folder? It will not work. Okay. Our master workbook will not change because we have converted it into a range. Okay. So this is how you can merge data from multiple workbook into one worksheet. If you want it to automatically update, you can leave the table. And if you don't want data to be updated, you can convert your data into a range. And this is how you can do it. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.